would you this is basically the old table right okay that you that you had uh, with the, and what what that was was basically that you had some kind of story here and then something happened in the rules right. here mm -hmm. and there was also other aspects that you could read in and if in on on the table if you rolled one two or three that was more an an unsuccessful role that way was really right. bad uh -huh. in different ways and the more you rolled on this length the better it became and and then you had uh, depending on i mean if you had an uh, eight sided die then you 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 could not basically you could not um roll more more than that there's no additions to the roll right so so if you so, want additions go for a bigger die however yeah go for a bigger die and you can do uh, or or you, uh, but you had the concept of blue dice I remember and the blue, blue dice right uh -huh. yeah so but what i what, what i've done now is to say that uh there is now something called a conflict pool that that when i when i play when i play when you and i play primetime prime time adventures uh -huh. yeah then it's pretty similar to the to the 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 budget actually right. but but you have one pool for each conflict and and the 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 amount of 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 the the, the number and how how many points you have in that pool pool depends on where in the phases and how close to the end you have and 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 uh, some other factors uh, so in each conflict you have something as a gm saying that that this is when you meet this this opposition then it's i have a conflict pool of 10 and when my conflict right. pool ends then the the com conflict and over is over and as we said before if if you have three or more stress on your character sheet you're out of the conflict it doesn't mean you're dead right. but it, it so means the, that so your gm has a, a, a countdown mechanism and countdown exactly not the right word but some sort of currency mechanism for basically when this thing is more, going more or less over. a currency right and so, so what's it well, out yeah. of curiosity does the gm like with budget in primetime adventures, which is of course a full session currency, not a conflict by yeah. conflict one. But the point is, is that I might, I can pull as much as I want for a given, uh, for a given conflict. In primetime adventures, mm -hmm. I could, for example, choose to use very few cards out of the budget for the first conflicts of the session. Yeah, and then I would have an enormous amount to use for the last one. Yeah. Now that's one possibility, I, or I could try. I could play pretty big in the beginning, mm -hmm. just use a fair amount on each conflict, and sooner or later I'm going to run out, which means that the later conflicts of play will actually be fairly easy to succeed in. So the the producer has kind of the choice whether to basically build up to an extremely problematic, mm -hmm. probably failing climax or yeah. whether to have things seem pretty tough and then basically the players are in the position to succeed during the more you know during the later conflicts the, the uh, i mean ones. but the point is is that in this situation we're shrinking yeah. the scale so you now have yeah. the budget for one conflict yeah all this is a really long way to ask does the game master in this case put out budget bit you no know, in in steps or do they just say okay this is the budget for this conflict and that's it it's just the way it is then the it's, question it's, uh, is whether the producer basically spends it or has it as all at once for whatever it is or whether yeah. they're actually using it for anything in smaller units as they go when when I play test it, uh, I had one, okay. but the budget. So so basically, it's it's really easy to count because I think it's. Uh, I mean, I mean, 
if you if you count the amount of stress that every character in the scene needs to be to uh, uh, they they have left until they're they're out right and then add a couple of more to that right, right, right. that basically means that you're uh, it's a real threat right it's a real right. then no, i can i, I can uh-huh. yeah uh so and, and 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 you can make it more or less but it in that case if you have more more points to spend then that might be a good thing uh, as again i mean you have more things to do with the players if they don't succeed right but but but, but, but just to explain this one is that if you roll really bad you kind of open the floodgates how uh, and and as right. as a player and says the gm can spend more of his budget uh, on yes, I see. on the conflict I see. Okay. when I roll right. bad, so, but right, uh, right. So literally, you make things worse. Okay, I get that. Yeah, and yeah. on mm-hmm. and if you in this case on the, the number twelve here, uh, then you basically don't get to do anything as a game master. You just like remove five from your budget. So, sure. so you know, basically, they've, they've and got so, way ahead now, right? So and this this basically means that you are always allowed to do something right. in these cases. I'm I'm not right. sure that I would keep those, but right. but, but the but basic you, idea is clear. I think. Yeah. yeah. What are so, the other so, columns? Uh, yeah, uh, I will come to that. That's okay. that's an, the, the, all these. The, it's because I I can see that I I based a lot of the thinking on being. On in direct conflict with someone, right, right? And 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 if you say that you are very very defensive, right? Then right. then you can like uh, I see, okay. Mm-hmm. Then you can see that I I I will the only thing that I will do in this is try not to get hurt right. in in right. any way. Then the potential badness that, that happens is not that bad, right? Uh, but but you're probably we won't be able to do as many good things right. either right i mean if you you can like you, you don't remove and then you have the disruptive and that's cases where oh, all sorts of things like sabotage for for the setting we were talking about that's very important i get that immediately i mean it's doing not going against your opponent not being defensive right. but doing something else right. and then you have the other one that is doing stuff that you kind of recon you aim and you do something that uh, kind see. of okay. pushes your luck to the next time so right. it basically right. uh, it makes you very vulnerable to to attacks but when to to attacks of any sort but but uh but when it when if you succeed you can gain right. stuff for the next right. so so it's this nice is basically something like that in there okay yeah so uh, so the, and this uh, is basically what something that you uh, as a player, you say something. I want to do this, right? And then, and then you say, "Okay, that sounds to me like a disruptive move." Right. Roll the disruptive. Now, my my question here, the, the 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 crossroads is before this one was filled with stuff that actually happened. I mean, it says, "Okay, you do something, something, but something next round will turn badly." Right. But everything in this, like. It, Kind of a, a mix between story and rules here. Yes, can I? It, make it, a, it, can I say something? That, that's okay, totally. Right. It's not meaningful at all I anymore. Agree. It, it, I agree. So, and, and frankly, I think that it sounds like a legacy from Powered by the Apocalypse, which really I am beginning to think is a not just a preference of mine, but I'm beginning to think it's a bad thing. Um, I have been talking with a lot of people about some combination of Dungeon World, Powered by Mm. the Apocalypse, and Apocalypse World, which people are very confused about what those are, by the way. They speak of them, you know, across each other all the time. Mm. But I have been talking with a lot of people about this, and Mm. some very interesting things have been happening in those conversations. I am simply asking questions of people who are very big fans or were big fans or played a lot and they often are very uh defensive about the titles to other people 
And so I've been asking them privately, can you explain more about your, you know, your, your exactly what you're referring to, you know, any, any number of specific questions, all of them are admitting that they dislike the game very much. They dislike it very much and that they're heavily invested in it, but they didn't realize this until I asked them. I'm not just picking on this system. I'm bringing this up for a very specific. I mean, I, I, I think we have we have touched on this before, right. and 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 what, what my when I when I well, I wanted to tell you what uh, when this I, guy told me though because it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, hmm? He talked about how he and some friends had enjoyed Dungeon World, but he eventually realized it's only because the GM was a colorful speaker, and then he was thinking back on the session and realized how tired and bored the GM was becoming every time they got the result where he had to, I think the choice was, you know, make a, offer a hard choice or a devil's bargain, mm -hmm. you know, which means the GM suddenly has to take this, well, this guy's just trying to chop off a goblin's head. Yeah. Now I have to come up with some shit about this. Right. Yeah. And so, and and the the person talking to me said, roll seven to nine, and the GM has to jump through the hoop again, and the hoop is shaped like a Z. Right? <laughs> so he has to get him so he <laughs> jump up again. And every time you roll a seven or nine, there you go. And and he, and he was saying, it's exhausting. Why not just have it be about chopping off the goblin's head for Christ's sake? Yeah. You know? And and and, and that's basically I mean, I mean, there's a lot of when I when I I think I think we have touched upon this before many yeah. times, but it, this is a game when you read it the first time, mm -hmm. and when I read it the first time, I I mean I immediately bought it when it came, right? Mm -hmm. And I and I read it and I tried to play it and I utterly failed, right? And 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 I think mm, mm, in so it took me a long lo time to learn how to play the game and how to play how to 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 maneuver and the agency problem mm -hmm. giving the player agents and, and and the things that we have discussed before when it when it becomes when you be we, we have to be very agile when it comes to like right. switching the plans and, and and letting people do stuff and and but there were a lot of things in in the game that were re really inspiring mm -hmm. as a game designer. So so, and and it was was also very hackable. So you right. could that, that that's basically a good thing with mm -hmm. with that. Uh, but I think you could make a good apocalypse world hack that right. is more according to the. Right. I completely agree with you, and in fact, mm. I still think Apocalypse World in isolation mm. is really quite playable and good, but one has to learn a couple of things, as you say. Um, but uh, in anyway, though, for this game, I think you can see where I am going with this, that I quite like mm. the idea of taking out these instants of mini-improv and that we are more interested in resolving the problem we are facing, and we are not really yeah. that interested in filling the room full of new splashes of paint. No, so, I, th I think yeah. that is also, I mean, it's supposed to give you cues for creativity and, 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 and point, uh, point the story in directions, but right. sometimes you, you want to choose when that's supposed to happen. Well, and yes, and, and, I agree that that's true. And also one has to think about, wait a minute, aren't we doing this throughout the fabric of your entire game anyway? Yeah. I mean, your whole game is based on that kind of engagement. And in exactly. a way, it's almost as though these conflicts are a little bit of relief from it, where everything becomes very mm. concrete and very consequential in and of itself. And what so, I, when I, yeah. I, I tried, so I... One thing, what I can do with my pool as a game master yep. is is now I have like 
you can, uh, and I, I've divided stuff in the, the usual list and a boosted list. Right. And a boosted list is basically a list that you need to unlock with one prior move. Right. Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. I, I can choose well, as a game master. Yeah. So, uh, so, it, so as a game master, you say, um, Okay, I I have two points. I that your role will uh, your role will it may make me have two points to dist distribute on the that list. In that case, I will give you wow. one stress by punching you in the face, right. and then I use uh, the other one to unlock the boost list next time. Right. So you kind of, right. and that means that I basically go for a really big punch. Right. Right, and you can see that as a player, then you can decide. So you see something yeah, I, bad I actually coming. Kind of like the idea of oh no, here it comes. Um, yeah, I also would like to say first of all, you were not kidding when you said bushy. No, no, I, I no, see but, that. I, but, I, but I like it. It's very, actually very coherent. And what's nice is that the bushes are different places to go, not mm. things you have to manage all at once. So, so well, I tried this with my. My 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 constant um, uh, the, the 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 player Eric uh, uh, that has the been poor, along the, the poor long suffering Eric who has walked yes, has, has all, all for far too long yeah. and his comment was really interesting because if I if I share my screen again yeah. and just uh, um, so his comments were really interesting so if you see that. Uh, this now here's here's the list that I have. Right. Okay. What I can do as a with one uh, with my the basic list is like add one stress to right, my right. opponent, mm -hmm. hold or block something like uh, I take something from someone, right. make opponent look bad, like mm, affect their lo loose face or something like that. Move to a better location. Boost the next attack. That's the one that I was talking about. Right. Uh, you, you you can draw draw attention to to uh, and, that, and that means that basically what happens is that uh, if you are doing something, then I see that that will cause a lot of uh, attention. That may, may basically means that more help is coming or something like that, like that, if you want to be silent. So that's basically a list of, and I can add more stuff. And this is more an inspiration stuff yes, yes. for me as a game master. Right. 